This does the same thing the G7X does, where you, you start filming and it suddenly turns wonky. I'm just transferring my stuff over. I've started a bit late again today, but I'm all washed. I'm fresh as a daisy. I think I'm going to set myself a time limit. What do you reckon, Manny? On my phone. What time limit? To, to yeah. We need to be keeping my that really late. Yeah. Like idiots. I woke, I woke up at like half eight and then just kind of. You did not. You woke up at like half nine. No. I woke up at half eight. And then we just kind of lay there. I woke up at half eight and then you lay there. I woke up at eight. <laughs> and then we just kind of lay there until ten. Oh dear. I think you should give <clears> yourself <throat> two hours. Two hours? Because you need to speed up with the edits. What about two and a half? No, so two. Two and a half, we'll two. say. Yeah, give yourself to two o'clock. So that's an hour, two and a half hours. That's what I said. Two hours and thirty five minutes. Five minutes. And then, okay. I know, whatever, whatever position you're at at two o'clock, you have to explore the video. Alright, it's time, yeah? Okay. Them's the rules. <laughs> it's making you nervous. Yeah. I think I need it though. You do. Because the past tired. few days have been a bit slow. You know, I reckon part of the reason we're tired is, is because we've been forgetting to eat breakfast mm. or lunch yes. on certain days, yeah. like yesterday. Like, yeah. And, yeah, it's not good. No, we need to, right we need to get out of this. Function. Yeah, because you feel all right in the day, and then the next mm. day you feel knackered. Yeah, right now, like, I haven't had breakfast because it's, like, too late to have breakfast, not over yeah. the hunger. And yeah. there's no food, there's no, like, fruit, so I don't really want to have... Oh, there's no fruit. No. Oh, great. So I was like, oh, I'll just have some juice and then wait till lunch and have a big right. lunch. Right, we're going to have to have a huge lunch. In fact... So leftovers. Speaking of which, I'm going to go get all those supplements and we're going to take them out. <laughs> we need to start... We started making dinner where we only have enough for one leftovers. We need to start making huge yes. portions. <laughs> so here is the things that I'm taking. I did actually just show these in a video. They were from Holland and Barrett. This isn't, this isn't sponsored. My last video was on my channel, but... Um, this is my favourite beet oil spray, and we use this for years, haven't we? Or at least a year or two. Yeah, since I found it. Because we've tried so many different ones, and this is the nicest. It's well, we should just take the tablets, but this yeah. is better. Boost Daily Vitamin B12 Oral Spray. So, I know that I like advertise them in my sponsor video, but I only ch I literally chose the things that I love, because I yeah. go to Holden about it all the time. So, um, this. And it tastes like strawberries or raspberries or something. No, no it's it's apricot. Peach. Apricot, oh. okay, I was way off there. <laughs> I was thinking because it's red and you let it like oh, sit yeah, yeah. under your tongue. It's delicious. And then these ones, mushroom vitamin D, we got these last year, didn't we? Because vitamin yeah. D is hard to find vegan. We got these. I know that they're different. I know that people, there's like D3 and... I thought they're D2. Yeah, so it is different, but... Um, and D3 is from sheep. Yeah. Sheep's wool. So it's just important to take a vi vitamin D supplement, but also do get out of the sun. Like yeah. in the winter, there's, there's still sun, so still get outside every day. That's something we both need to do. We, we need to do that this week because next week is going to be cold. This week is warm. We have been getting outside, but not every yeah. day. And it's really important to get vitamin D every single day. Yeah. So, and on top of this, it's helpful in the Yum. winter. I'm a badass for taking two of those at the same time. Two? Yeah. Mm. And then Omega 3, these are new. But um, I really wanted to get these because I saw quite a lot of people um, online taking <clears throat> Omega 3s and stuff. Yeah. And I just think it's just that extra little boost because yeah. it is tricky the, um, when you're vegan. The tablets remind me of those like cod liver oil ones my mum yeah, would Yeah, they always... basically are yeah. cod liver oil. And I said this in my video, except for cod liver oil getting from a fish, which is eaten algae, whereas you're literally just getting it from the algae, which I think is so oh. much better because it doesn't come with all the extra metals and shit that, well, it does in some ways because the algae has it as well, but it's just better. You're not harming a fish, basically. So, um, yeah, vegan, pure, no synthetics. Um, it's because it's harder to get DHA on a vegan diet. So if you're worried about that type of thing, it is good. I, I, I think that you can go overboard with, overboard with supplements, um, but there's no harm in taking just a couple. And I think these are the ones that I, would, I wouldn't go any further than taking these three. No. I wouldn't necessarily take these all year, just sometimes if you're not feeling as good. Yeah, I don't ever take some in the winter months. Yeah. And B12, I B12 guess. B12 all year round, <coughs> these in the winter, and then these if you're not feeling 100% because you, your diet's not on, on check, which is me right now. Yeah. <laughs> so. Bottoms up. Yeah, and neither of these are horrible to take. They're nice to take. No. That was not an advert. <laughs> <laughs> I just genuinely love them. Mm. So. 
feels great when you actually get to do sponsored videos and content with brands that you love. Like, literally, we're obsessed with Holland the Barrett. I think everyone in the UK who likes health is, honestly. What time is it? Show them the time. Maddie's forcing me to update you with how bad I am. Because it's half two. I know. So I how blame, far are you with the video? I blame you. Uh, I just need to rewatch it. How long will that take? 15 minutes and we can leave? Well, the video is currently 25 minutes. But I've pretty much done it. was because we filmed a lot. I didn't realise. Um, I think because it was your hot chocolate recipe at the end. Also, my computer is being weird. Like, have you ever had it where when you try to adjust the audio levels, like if you try to mute the sound in one clip, it took like a couple of minutes just to do that. Normally it takes half a second. Huh. It's been really weird. So I've restarted it and I can go through it. Do you have to watch the whole thing through there? Can't you just quickly breeze through well, it? Well, there's some clips I know. So can we go at quarter two? No. Why not? Because I need to... Three? Three is good. Okay. Because I need to put the, the bits and bobs on and then export it. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. It's three o'clock. Are you ready? Give me one more hour. No, what, what, how, why is it not done? Alex, are you done? Nearly. How, how's nearly? This. How much time? That's how much. Five minutes. What do you want me to say, one minute? Yes. One minute? Yes. Plus four minutes? No. <laughs> Look at the sunshine. It's just you, yeah, 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 chat, 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 I'm gonna edit all your chit chat. <laughs> so you're blaming me? Yeah, it's always you. Oh, okay. Good gracious, that's a big video file. It's nearly two gigabytes. Have I got enough space? Oh, just about. 666. Yeah. I like these a lot. They remind me of Poland. Hmm. I went to Poland when I was younger and we, well, they are we Polish. made a of these. Really? Yeah, look at them. I see the front. Where does it say they're Polish? That's Polish. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. When I went to Poland, it's all we ate. It's in the Polish section in Tesco. I've had them before. For the price, they're like, if you can get them at the magical price of 50p, they're four times better value than well, the normal crisps we eat. But also, they are, they are way healthier than crisps. They've got way less fat in them. Because mm. they're baked and they're just not as oily. A lot of salt. Oil. It's a lot of salt though, is that? Am I right in thinking that? Yes, but they are healthier than crisps. Mm. Depends, I suppose. Unless you eat like half a bag in one night, like I tend to. No. And they're probably pretty healthy. When I was in Poland, I'd literally just eat bags and bags and bags. And then in Poland, you had the street vendors that sold the actual big pretzels, the bread ones. Mm. The salt on them, we just had them every day for lunch. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us if any of you are Polish, are any of you from Poland. That'd be really <laughs> cool to find out. I've got a PB. What do you call this? P it's a PB and S. It's not quite a J, it's just strawberries. Yeah, but it's like the healthy version. I know. It's got healthy peanut butter and then not jam, but just like fruit. And wholemeal bread. Hmm. It's good. It's really good. Kind mm. of weird though. But I like it. Can you smell it? Mm. I don't like peanut butter. No. Success. So soap dish, and a little soap bag. But oh, that's a lot of soap. Yeah, it's like a, I'll link it below, it's this company, Eco Soaps, and um, they got it wrong, bless them. They um, sent, cause my PayPal address was my old address, my parents, and I emailed them straight after saying, whoops, my PayPal address is my old address, could you send it to this one? And then they forgot, and they sent it to my old address, and I, uh, they messaged me saying, I think we've sent it to your old address. So they just sent me a whole new batch, and they thought that my parents can have the other lot. So that's really nice of them. I was like, no, it's fine. But um, she was so sweet. Um, but it's handmade soaps from Scotland, because I just Googled eco soaps, because we really needed a soap dish and soaps. And I didn't want to just order one off Amazon. So happy to have found this company. And they do a little thing where they give you offcuts of their soaps. And I literally don't care. Oh, smell that. It smells like lemon sherbet. Mm. Wait. I literally don't mm. care what they look like. Let the viewers have a smell. Mm. You smell that? Mm. But it's like, I think it was like £12 for all of this. Not not just this, obviously. £12 for all of this together. I think this is like £5 something. So I thought that was really good value for money and that's going to be soaps that's going to last us for a while. And I used to use... <laughs> it's going to last like a year. <laughs> yeah, I used to use lo lo loafers, loafers, 
so we can shove, um, you basically put a soap inside this, and then in the shower you use that to exfoliate your body and the soap comes through. How cool is that? That's handy. I think it's so cute. Anyway, let's go outside. <laughs> you ready? Very good. Here we go. Are you actually going to wear that hat or am I going to wear it? I can see through it, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, shall I do I need to get another hat? Mm, I think I'll be fine actually. Okay. Although my hair's gonna get annoying because it's all flopping. Okay, I'll take another hat. Return of the Christmas hat. I don't own any hats. Maybe that's a Christmas <laughs> present you can get me, Alex. A hat. Uh, okay. Because I'm just stealing yours. Let's go. I've been out. What to do now? I really want to play a video game or watch TV, but I think there are chores to be done. We need to go shopping. That's annoying. <laughs> We're just planning our meals. Because it's been a bit higgledy piggledy, hasn't it? This book is so beautiful and most cookery books you look through and you're like, meh, not really, don't really want that. This one, every single page I turn, I'm like, I want that, <laughs> I want that, I want that. Which is so rare. They all just sound so delicious and it's all vegan. Like everything just looks so good. <gasps> wow. Oh. Very pleasing. This one that my mum made, the seitan cutlets, where is it? Homemade Kentucky Fried Chicken. My mum made it, it was really good. It's so it? weird to look at that and you That's I don't know, it looks like a, it looks like a thigh it or does. a wing or something, yeah. Yeah. Um so we're gonna decide Alex is gonna cook on Saturday something special. So we're gonna decide what to have. Something special, eh? Well, just something a bit different. We don't okay. eat all the time. You know, something new. I think it's important when you're eating vegan or if you're eating healthy to try like new recipes each week, mm. at least one or two, because otherwise you get a bit of a rut. And it's yeah. also good for your diet to vary the food you eat. And a lot of the time we get stuck with like the same five yeah. meals, don't we? Everyone does. And I think yeah. that you just do it out of convenience and then you get really bored and then you want junk food to sort of spice it up. Because every, every time we're like, oh, we just need something quick now. And it's just... Yeah, because <laughs> we've just moved. We never take the time to... Um, but I do miss like cooking recipe. new recipes. I used to always cook like one or two new recipes a week because I just enjoy it. And it does keep healthy eating and vegan, if you're going vegan, it makes it so much easier and enjoyable. And you don't feel as tempted to just go and eat like junk food hmm. so right let's decide this so here is our shopping list oh for anyone who's interested um excuse my messy handwriting i just scribbled it all over and these are the meals sunday monday we're going to an event on monday 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 on monday and sunday we're going to the vegan festival in brighton so um we're not really sure what we'll be doing for food that day but this is going to be cheap hopefully and will also give us some yummy meals so let's go, Alex. You ready? Good job he didn't fart, because he normally farts when he does that. I'm trying to be a good boy. <laughs> You're just doing it because the camera's on you. Someone told you off for farting the other day on the videos. They, oh, said, yeah. they said you were gross for farting and I was beautiful and amazing. I always have to edit out when he's farts and burps. Oh yeah, sure. I do actually burp quite a lot. I don't do that on camera though. Right, so we just got back from the shops. We didn't take you with us because we've done that loads. But we'll just really, really fast, as fast as we possibly can, we're gonna show you the stuff that we got. So, frozen goods first. We walked home with like a gigantic bag and two mm. huge backpacks. So, Alex insisted on getting more pretzels. I didn't get any other crisps. No. We've got loads of lemons and limes. Woo! Gosh. Tomato puree. We have mixed fruits. Mints made with soya, raspberries, spinach, spinach, strawberries, and at the bottom here, some Maris Piper potatoes because they are the tastiest ones. And that's everything in that bag. Oh, there's a naked, there's naked bars. I wonder where these have gone. 
We didn't buy those today. No. Right, really want to start shopping at the local market if we can find one because yeah. of all the plastic. We avoided it as much as we could. Pak choy. Pak choy. Chilies. Coriander. Watercress, spinach and rocket. Spring onion. Aubergine. How small is aubergine? Yeah, why isn't it bigger? Peppers. One lemon. Another lemon. These were on offer for burger buns for the weekend. Barely, but... Red onion, garlic. Broccoli again. Mushrooms, which I put in my own bag. I need to get some small produce bags. So let me know if you have any recommendations. More broccoli. Yeah. Cucumber. 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 No. Insert funny clip here. Cucumber. 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 More onion. I'm not going to get all this stuff out now. Tofu. Tofu. Yogurt. Yogurt. And this one was the cheapest one. I tried to avoid the Alpro goes because they're so expensive. Ketchup. Tesco do. Black beans. Yeah, they started to do tins. Own brand. Own brand black beans because black beans usually you can only get organic and they're yeah. really expensive. Pita bread, which is, has no palm oil in it, which is great. Digi mustard. Spaghetti. Almost oh, spaghetti, right? You can put the stuff back in there while I get the last because the battery's about to go. <gasps> quick! Quick! Rapid fire food haul. Wholemeal noodles. 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 Tofu. Mm, green lentils. Lentils bare. That. Black beans. White beans. White beans. No, they're chickpeas. Garbanzo beans. <laughs> red beans. Red kidney beans. <laughs> Lemongrass beans. And a partridge in a pear tree. A gigantic thing of soy sauce because it was cheaper to get a big one and we use it a lot. Crazy. I hope it's good. Yeah. It looks fancy. It's the got cheap Tesco own brand soy sauce it sucks. It literally lasts like one meal and like that Chinese? so watery. Yeah, that's Chinese. Oh, you nearly hit me in the face. <laughs> right. Hope you enjoyed that little um, taster into the food you guys. So now we're gonna go put it all away and make some dinner. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Not as impressive as I thought it would be, because most of the stuff went in there. No, it's quite impressive, but the fridge was totally empty. Mm. Oh, how much did that all cost, Alan? 45? All of that was 43 pounds, in fact. 43 pounds. That should last us. Not too bad. It <laughs> should last, that's like, whenever I do weekly shops, it always lasts longer than a week. It always lasts like a week and a half to two weeks and you just need like a top up of fridge food, like fresh fresh vegetables. Yeah. The stuff you put in the cupboard always lasts. We got lasts. loads of cupboard stuff. Yeah. And we planned our meals out. Yeah. Which will save loads of money. So the best way to do it is to go on a big shop every fortnight and then um, in between just do like a little top up shop. Check out this masterpiece that I have created. Does that not look amazing? If you want the recipe, it's a loose interpretation of the recipe I did on my channel. You can watch it here. Um, the only difference is I didn't wait for the broth to like brew for hours. I just did it quickly. If you're in a pinch, you can just do it while you're cooking everything else. In a pinch? Yeah. Did you say this now? Yeah. I feel like we need bigger bowls though. We need another set of bigger bowls. Oh, no. I know. It's really annoying. Oh. I think we need another set of like huge bowls. Yeah. Or am I, are we just like really, really greedy? We've got pak choy, spring onion, tofu and mushroom in a miso broth with noodles under there. I'm just uploading a video. Here you go. Have a mushroom. Ooh. And we'll see you tomorrow while we go watch Mad Men. Oh, so much better than other mushrooms. Mm. Yum. Mm. Good night. Bit more ASMR. <laughs>